All right. Um, let's continue the main storyline. And again, you can track that when we go into our log and select awakenings. Now you can see we've got other things now that we can do. Uh, we can do an exploration guide. This just talks about local information register. We can go earn some nanites by renaming and uploading some animals and data up to the cloud. We can go back to our base computer and uncover some uh, blueprints if we want to. We can install this. I'm going to unpin this um, because I don't want to do that one. That's an optional, right? But for now, we're going to go back to uh, our main quest of awakenings. So let's go up a little bit. And I guess it's telling us we need to go over here. So let's go over here to strangers coordinates. Now, since this thing released and I bought this on pre-release, pre-ordered it. Yep, I'm that guy. I'm one of those people. Um, I have never been to the center of the galaxy, so maybe that's what this this will be is let's go to the center of the galaxy. Let's do the main storyline and have an adventure along the way. So let's land here. This is the uh, um, approximate coordinates. So we got to hit F for our scanner or if you're on a controller, whatever scanner button that is. We got 324 units to go. Now you see at the bottom, uh, we're in target sweep mode and we have analysis mode. We're going to get three more modes here soon. What is this? Is this just a thing? Is this another pet? Yeah, I'm on a different planet, so I could have I could adopt this or we can extract berries. Exa berries. Yeah. Don't care. Uh, what do hexa berries do? 5% uh, life support power. Hmm. Hmm. Might not be a bad pet to have around. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So here's where we're supposed to go. We'll scan. Finalize the signal. Yep. This is the right place. Looks like a crashed ship of the. Oh, this is perfect. This is a hauler. As the sun comes up, we turn the torch off. Okay. Let's finish the story. Okay. We need to feed it some sodium, which we have. Some chromatic metal, which we have. Again, this is why I have a stack of stuff with me at all times. <laughs> no signs of life. There's only the static of a broken communicator. Let's extract the records. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilots named Artemis. Whoever they were, they're long gone. The only other... Uh, uncorrupted data is a set of plans for my mining beam. Well, thanks. Oh, we got pulse splitter. Nice. This is a weapon that you put into your uh, multi-tool. We'll get there for now. Oops. I'm going to unpin it because if we look at our tool, we're cramped. I mean, that's all I can fit, but I don't have the parts. I need deuterium and a wiring loom. We'll get it later. Cool. Search for clues. Okay, well, while we're here, let's just do all the regular things that we normally do. I'm going to go hopefully get some nanites, which we did. Get some more salvaged data. I'm going to check our loot boxes. We got two, three, sal four salvage data out of that. Oh my gosh. Score. And let's take this. And we got some condensed carbon microprocessor. 
Got all kinds of stuff. And we haven't even looked at the ship yet. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Let's get in it. It's a C-class, which is fine. Um, we need a hermetic seal. We need some dihydrogen jelly. And a chromatic metal, which we are out of. That's a bummer. Um, I want to keep this one. <clears throat> so we're going to take this. I think I have some copper on me. I do have some copper. Let's take it all. Let's dump it in there. So in three minutes, we'll have the chromatic metal. In the meantime, I know I need to make dihydrogen jelly. Starship. Uh, okay. Get back into this thing. Oh, we need to compare it. We need to claim it. I don't want to replace it. We can add it to our list. It's worth 36 million. So we're going to claim this ship to add it to our ship list. Uh, okay, so thrusters. We have everything we need to repair the thrusters completely. Uh, then we need to work on a hermetic seal. Let's go to exosuit. Click here. Hermetic seal. Starship. Now we have the plating and the hermetic seal. Now we can leave. Now we can go places. We can't go to different systems yet. Um, but we definitely can get up and go and take off and land and do all those fun things that we like doing. Um, and this, that is absolutely 100% fine. Now you can see here... Um, we have a lot, we got lots of cargo space, but they're all blocked. So I'm going to have to spend time and energy and money to get the resources in order to unlock these or repair them so that we can use them. But this is a good ship. This is a great first hauler ship. Um, I just need to spend a ton of cash on wiring looms because it looks like a lot of this stuff. I need to find phosphorus and uh, some of the stuff you can just buy. Um, but, like I said, a lot of wiring looms. And those aren't cheap. Pugnium, paraffinium, chromatic metal. This one needs chlorine. So, it's it's a... What do they call it? A fixer-upper? But, I like it. I like it a lot. So, we have our chromatic metal. Let's put that in our suit. Go back into our ship and we have everything we need now to hyperdrive away. And there we go. You know what? I'm going to pick up. Oops, I can't because it's got stuff in it. So let's stop. Let's put this in. Let's put this in. Pick it up. Take it for a spin. Look at that. He's cool. It's a cool looking ship. I like it. Now, it's going to keep making that sound because it's telling us that we have issues with our ship. There's broke stuff. <laughs> and that's fine. Okay, so we come up here. Unknown. This is all still part of the main quest. Artemis, Entity, we received your signal. Is it first? Is it last? I don't know. Not for truth. You have their signal. But you are not Artemis, Enemy. Tell them the truth. I found your signal. Your signal is familiar to Nada. We have con we have been in contact before, I think. This would be a good time to come aboard. Yes, a proper introduction to our home. Zoinks. And now we have the anomaly. And this is perfectly fine to go to you're going to be here a lot for the rest of the game um the the anomaly is a summonable location no matter where you are in space you can summon this thing to come to you it's a multiplayer hub see all these ships all these uh diamonds these are other players in the game right now running around you come here to the middle section 
I can talk to this person. I can give them things. But you come to the Nexus. <clears throat> I'm not yet authorized to use it. You come to the Nexus to, to get multiplayer quests that earn you Quicksilver. You take that Quicksilver over to this guy. And with that, you can create items with that Quicksilver. So I could buy these fireworks if I had 60 Quicksilver. Um, I could buy these different jetpack exhaustion mods uh, if I had enough Quicksilver. So there's lots of stuff that you can buy with Quicksilver. Also, if you've watched Twitch and you have any rewards from Twitch streams, you can get those here. So if I want to collect my Titan Worm Cape, I could get that here. This is the appearances. I haven't really done a whole bunch of these. If I want this new jetpack, I, I could get that here. Any of these starships, these are all A-class starships. If I want any of these, I can just have them because I've watched Twitch for three hours. Any of these multi-tools, I could just use them. Uh, because I've watched Twitch for three hours, collected the rewards because I've linked my Twitch to my No Man's Sky account, whatever the case. And now I can I can have access to those if I want to. Also, uh, previous expeditions. If you've done any of the expeditions, number 14 is still ongoing at time of recording. So we'll go through here to, let's look at number 14. If I want my new Chitin uh, flight pack. If I want the Chitin exosuit posters, any of that stuff, I can just I can just grab those here. I don't really want to do that right now because this is all about, you know, for new players starting out. What do I do? So we're on the right side of the whole thing. We're parked over here. There's also a good opportunity to see other ships. <laughs> There's a lot of cool ships in this game. Um and so it's cool to come over and see some of the other ones that people have found or made. That one's cool. Uh, I wonder if I can summon my other ship. I can. Okay, I want this one back. <clears throat> Just because. Uh, okay, so we're on the right side. I'm going to show, explain just a couple of things here. On the right side, you can come talk to Helios. And Helios, doesn't matter what he says, Helios will take your data for flora that you've scanned. He wants that data, and he's going to give you some nanites. Sometimes it's a little, sometimes it's a lot, depending on how much you've scanned. Uh, you can come talk to Ares. I think he does the same thing. Transmit milestone data. You just give it to him. He'll give you nanites. Oh, jeez. Got 1,100 nanites out of that. Okay. Talk to him. You can also purchase upgrades. I think this is randomized. It's not the greatest of stuff, but it's just all over the place. I don't want anything right now. You can come talk to the cook. There's a whole recipe thing in the game uh, where you can talk to this guy and sell him some things. You can... Uh, it's giving creature pellets. I don't know. Talk to him. This is where you take your eggs and you put them in here. You splice them and do all kinds of stuff to get different kinds of creatures. There's an appearance modifier here if you want to do that. There's some people to talk to. We go up the stairs. And we're going to go left because we want to talk to... There's Nada on the left. Polo on the right. We need to talk to Nada. To continue our story, um, I'm Priest Entity Nada, Divergent Corvax. Welcome to our anomaly. Our home is pleasant, yes? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. We're going to ask about Artemis. Uh, iteration of numbers. They're lost to us. Highly improbable. Our anomaly is lost to the Sentinels, but none should be lost to the anomaly. Corvax watches me. There's a patience. We're going to ask about Nada, which is this person. 
Uh, cannot understand why such thing happened. Not awoke with the death of the Corvax Prime. Now I'm a divergent. The convergence did not seek through my eyes. Nada is not alone anymore. I'm with Polo friend and other friends. Okay. Let's ask about Polo, your friend. Hey, he found me. He found the signal. Nada is safe. Now Nada finds other signals and makes others safe. Let's ask about the space station. Uh, our anomaly wanders free, free like Nada, to observe, to search, the Sentinels, the Atlas. They don't care for this place in their eyes, hunting us. Okay. Let's go talk to Polo. Hey, Polo, what's up, bruh? Uh, friends of all shapes and sizes. It's not see possible, but it is possible. We'll find them, no doubt. There's always a signal. Ask how. Our home will see to it. When you leave, you will not be where you were. You will be closer. Or maybe not. Discovery is exciting, yeah? Freely, perhaps send some spend some time with other friends. We all help each other here. Thanks, bruh. Uh, go talk to some other travelers for some nanites. We'll go do that here in just a second. But the one of the other main reasons you want to come to the anomaly is for the mall and the mall has six locations in it this first station on the right is for exo crafts you're gonna get um you're gonna get cars and a robot that you can control your nautilus your submarine so here's where you spend your nanite clusters to unlock these recipes um so that you can build these components within your various machines here's uh the next one which is the synthesis laboratory here you can learn additional um, recipes one of those being our atlas pass one two and three we're gonna I'll go ahead and unlock one because we can make that and start utilizing it right now um, the other things we can unlock if we want to, if we want to make unstable plasma, if we want to make batteries for our starship shield, um, there's all, there's all kinds of stuff that we could do here. I don't, I don't really want to do anything extra right now. Um, cause we don't need, we might need solar mirrors. Let's go ahead and unlock that. We got, we got 3000 nanites left. We can go to the next section, which is unlocking all kinds of additional things that are not critical to the game. That being said, stasis device is something that I will end up unlocking. And when I unlock that, we're going to unlock everything else because you can sell stasis device. You can make them. It takes a long time to set up, but it the the money the monetary rewards is very much worth it <laughs> we're gonna be swimming in cash you think two two million four million is a lot we're gonna need billions later on so that's where you can learn some recipes we got new multi-tool weapon is our next kiosk it's only a c-class it's a pistol eh, probably a rifle don't need it but you can talk to this person eos and we can unlock more upgrades here. And there's a bunch. I want this survey device right now. That's our next big purchase. Um, I don't know why it does this. Um, some other things you might want is the optical drill. This is going to give you 50% increase of resources mined using your multi-tool. I'm going to grab that. And we got to talk to him again. It's such a bug. It drives me nuts. Um, some other things you, I mean, it's just whatever you want. If you like using the plasma launcher, you, you can get that. If you need a scope, if you need a cloaking device, you can get all that stuff. I really don't use a lot of this stuff. Um, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. I don't want to waste all of our stuff here. Uh, how much is this? compare it this is a c-class rifle rifles are good for damage it's got a lot of slots in it 
Yeah, we'll find something better. Okay, let's go back to the entrance. So that's the right side. Exocrafts, recipes, multi-tools. On the left side, we have our starship, base components, and exosuit. So let's start with our starcraft here. It's starship stuff. And there's all kinds of stuff. There's additional weapons to get. There's aqua jets. If you ever find a water world, can't find a place to land, this will help you just land on the water. Uh, efficient thrusters. This is going to reduce our cost by 20%. Um, if you want a conflict scanner, if you want an economy scanner, we're actually going to grab the economy scanner. I recommend getting this. Talk to him again. Let's get that. Let's get the efficiency jets because it's going to reduce our launch cost by 20%, meaning we won't have to be burning through it so much. Let me talk to him again. Uh, we could get this too, but I don't... Automatic recharging. We don't need that right away. Um, we can get the... That's an emergency hyperdrive. And if you get in a fight, you can emergency warp away. I don't want that. <clears throat> this whole column is something we will get to eventually that lets us get to different stellar bodies, different solar systems. Um, that's pretty much it out of here for now. We'll come back and unlock all this stuff. But for right now, I don't, I don't need anything else. Now, let's talk to this first. Let's look at this exosuit first before we get into the other thing. Oh. Before we talk to this guy, let's buy an upgrade for 35000 Getting pricey. Let's talk to this guy. Look at research. This is very important. We definitely want the hazmat gauntlet. This is going to let us pick some hazardous um, resources talk to him again they really need to fix this this is such a frustration um i want the personal refiner this is a slot that you can have on you instead of building a refiner wherever you are and leaving there on the ground this is where you can just have it on you at all times and just refine in your exosuit i'm going to go ahead and buy the second version of this for 580, we're getting low. Got a thousand left. But that one is awesome. Uh, and then, you know, we can we can use some of these other things. What is this? Oxygen oxygen rerouting. We need a sulfide crystal. That's really for underwater stuff. I don't want to do that just yet. Uh efficiency water jets. I don't really need that. Advanced jump. I don't like that. It's only 90. Let's get this. It's got some good bonuses to it. Talk to him again. Research. I want to get the translate automatic translation device. that records and parses nearby conversations before running the data through a contextual learning system. Um, let's just go ahead and unlock that. So we got lots of stuff going on here. The last part I want to talk about is the construction research center. And this is where we, you take your salvage data and you use that to unlock base building parts. Now you don't have to spend any salvage data yet because we're going to get a ton of this stuff unlocked for free as we go through the storyline so you don't have to spend any of that but come through here cycle through these things find some things that you want to unlock if you want them here's your ex your transports we're going to unlock all this stuff for free later on so you don't have to spend your money here okay you do not, but I'm going to 
I want the mineral extractor. I want the supply depot for 10. I want the pipes for one. I want the solar panels for eight. Still got 31 left. I want the electromagnetic generator. I want the gas extractor for 10. And let's take the cloaking unit for one, just for funsies. Okay, so this right here, in my opinion, is needed to really get going in the game. This is going to let us build a lot of different outposts and automatically get materials, minerals, and gases and free electricity. That stuff's going to be important. This is all for plants. We'll get here later. Again, we'll unlock all this stuff for free. And then if you want any additional components for your timber, timber roofing, stone structures, stone roofing, alloy structures, alloy roofing, and then just generic shapes. You can get pretty creative with base foundations and stuff. Storage units. I'm going to go ahead and buy this one because it's great to have a spot where you can store just all your stuff. We're eventually going to unlock all of these. And I think uh, I'm going to buy the first two. So now we're out of salvage data and we've just unlocked a ton of stuff. But in the meantime, we need to go talk to some people to further the story. What? Are you kidding me? What does it say we got to do? Oh, I don't want to do this. This is industrial surveying. Install the survey device. Uh, we're going to do that anyway. Base computer. We want to keep going on the main search. Now we got two because we talked to Nada. And... Um, now we're talking about a space anomaly <clears throat> telling us to explore it. So let's go do that. And we should have an icon over here to go talk to Helios again. Let's go talk to Helios. What are we at? 30 minutes. We already talked to him, but that's fine. This is part of the quest. Blah, blah, blah. Hear more memories, ask about their past. It's not worth dwelling on. Okay, bye. <laughs> what? I already did that. Ask about their past. Come on. Visit Helios to grant analyze. Helios will request new data types each day. I did that. Search the anomalies for clues about Artemis and kind of zig and zag between these two. Search the space anomaly for clues about Artemis. Do I got to talk to these guys? Ask about Gemini. Don't care. Leave. Back to this guy. Say I'm a traveler. Because I am. Can I talk to you again? You got me different answers? I just leave. Fine. Uh, I'm not seeing any icons for me to go to. I already went to Helios like four times. Ask about their past. Man, it's too late for me now. 
Bruh. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Let's take a break from this. And what is this? Install the survey device. All right, let's do this real quick. Survey device. I need a quantum computer, wiring loom, and magnetic resonator. I don't have any of that. And there's no place on here to buy that, I don't think. There's no galactic trade here. So we'll have to go to a space station. We can do that here. Let's go to the local system. Uh, space stations, current system. Let's go do it. See if we can find what we need. I needed wiring looms. Three of those. Let's put here. I need one quantum computer. And it's not sold here. That's fine. Let's wait patiently for someone to come zipping in. Or, since nobody's landing, let's go to the other space station that we've been to. Previous system. And go talk to them. See if they got it. You can eat some. Go to the other space station and see if I so far this has been one of the best beginnings to a um, playthrough I've ever had. Let's go here. I need a quantum computer, just one. Let's buy the bag. All the things. That's all they got. It's okay fix it and I think I need three magnetic resonators which is a recipe that we could have bought I almost did uh, while we were on the space station looking at recipes but I didn't buy it oh, I got some time to kill wait for people to land I'm up here I am out of soul salvage data, but I could donate any of these things. Frigate fuel, prismatic feathers, all this stuff. I just don't have, I just don't have any of them, but we can, we can collect the stuff. Get some more money. Get an encryption data. Nobody else has landed. seeing any more let's take a look at the multi-tools here the pistol Ugh, another rifle <laughs> don't waste our hard-earned money yet where's all the visitors at well, we got some recipes for our starship. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of space for our starships. Let's install the economy scanner. And this is actually going to be incredibly helpful. Let's just use it here. So we're going to take off as soon as I turn my controller on. Oops, there's a guy. Let's we'll see what they got. Then we'll check out the economy scanner and how to use it. 
talk to this person. Make an offer. They're not selling it. Uh, I'm going to take this gold. I'm going to take this Pugnium. Ferrite dust. Um, because some of our... Some of the things that we need to repair our hauler need Pugnium. So that's why I got all that. Let's take some of this stuff and put it in the ship. Because I don't need it on me. There's another guy, but who cares? Let's go. Now they start coming in. Okay, so we, we have our economy scanner installed on our ship. And we want to go over here to the utilities and search for nearby trade events. And it's going to look for a local trade outpost is what we want. It's going to find one. And we get to go travel to it. We're going to be using this a lot in the future. Finding trade posts. A good, good way to make money. <clears throat> Find this thing. Through these clouds. So we want to find one of these things. Wait for it to turn green. You don't have to. You can land wherever. This is a great place to find ships to buy. This is a great place to trade. Um, crash economies. Do all kinds of stuff. Get extra materials. Look at that. I got a life gel. We're going to get some carbon. Extra stuff. Look at this. Everybody's landing already. Ah, oh, it's a cool ship. That's cool. Let's take a look at that ship. C-Class. <laughs> That's so cool. How much is it? 700. Oh, I could exchange it or I could buy it straight out. I don't want to get rid of my fighter for this explorer. That's pretty cool. I like it a lot. We'll find something like it again. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Uh, let's do a trade offer and see what he's got. Silver. I want to buy all that silver. Uh, we could buy these frost crystals. I don't want them just yet. We'll take the pugnium. It's fine. One of the nice things about this is there's two, four, six seven places to land on these platforms so you really get a good mix of ships look at that nose let's make an offer uh let's take the tritium the goop we got we got millions now is a time where we don't really need to we're just worried about space because i can't i only got so many places i can store this stuff uh, let's talk to this guy. Trade more pugnium. Take that platinum. I'm gonna steal some luggage. Okay, I'm running low on slots. In my exosuit, but I got a ship I could be putting stuff. What you got? Take that, take that, take that. Um, let's store some of this stuff. Yeah. We're just going to get rid of some of this stuff in our ship. I want to have it, but I don't want to have it necessarily on me. 
that makes any sense. Oops. <sighs> Stupid. Uh, tritium, pugnium. I'm not really finding what I want. Let's go take a look at the trade center. Maybe it has what I want. Ferrite dust. <sighs> well, I need the dockside. I need the paraffinium. Take the metal plating. Dang it. Not finding what I want. Classified. I just don't have enough money yet. That's fine. Let's look at a couple more ships. I'm just looking for those resonators. I'm not seeing them. Well, we can always do. There's another one of those ships. It's so cool. Uh, let's talk to this individual. Than I want there, although you look cool. Gonna make an offer, not finding what I want. Okay, we'll go to the other other system. Here comes another one of those. <laughs> Can't tell what it is till it lands. Well, I know what it is. It's a explorer class. It's a B class. Or B grade. Let's talk to him. Two. Let's make an offer. Negotiate price. Seven mil. Seven point five to just buy it straight out. <laughs> That's just so cool. All right. Let's get out of here. Uh, let's go to the other system. So I don't think I'm going to find what I'm really looking for here. Um, well, let's just use the galaxy. I don't want to go hopping all over the place. Uh, free Explorer. Where else have we been? We've been here. Let's go back there. Notice I'm not really exploring other systems a whole lot. That's because I have everything I need so far right here. I still have planets I haven't landed on. So this is all fine. This is okay. There's no race. You play this game at your own pace, your own leisure. If you want to zip and hurry through it, you can. If you find one planet like we did with our curious um, deposits and you just want to hang out there for th three weeks of your life, six months of your life, you totally can. All right, we want to go here and find another trade platform. I think there's there's one in every system I think or close to it. So we'll go check this out. And see what we can find. We're looking for was it harmonic resonators or some crap? I don't even remember. <laughs> I ain't got time for you, object of interest. Magnetic resonator, that's what it was. What I'm gonna do here, because I got the space, I'm just gonna land out. Oh, it's, it is gonna land me there. That's okay. It's fine. Looking for loot boxes. There's some there. Ah, <laughs> stupid jetpack. It's okay. Uh, there's ladders. If you don't have enough jet fuel. 
It's fine. Come on. I can hear ships landing. We're missing out. Okay, we got these explorers. These look pretty cool, too. Those look cool. Uh, where are we at? Make an offer. You suck, bro. Three of the same ships, huh? Make an offer. Taking the silver, the tritium. The box is here. Let's go check real quick. The galactic trade fairy dust. Dang it. I need that phosphorus though. Shoot. Well, it's okay. Uh, because we can always go back to the anomaly and buy that recipe with our nanites. I wanted to come over here real quick. Oh, let's see if we have what it takes to make our Atlas Pass version one. We do, and we bought it. It's, it's that easy. So this needs to go and ship, ship. Ship, ship. Now the Atlas Pass is a dev is a thing that's never used. It's just on us. So now we can search this, and we got an antimatter. Got some extra stuff. Let's see if he's got anything cool. Should be buying that from the oh, this guy. No way it goes straight to here. We go. We got two of these. Got some condensed carbon. Got navigation data. Got one slot left. <laughs> Processor. Got a hauler that just took off. Okay, we're not finding what we want. Uh, let's check one last person. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. And then we'll go back to the anomaly. Still doesn't have what I want. Okay, let's go back to the anomaly. Now we're in a different system from where we started with the anomaly. Let's top off our impulse drive. So on the D-pad, oh, we're in the same system as the anomaly. That's fine. I think you can resummon if you hit down on the D-pad and then you get to this section. You can just summon it wherever you want, but probably because it's right here or we're too close to the planet. It may not let us do it. That's fine. Then go over here. I hope I have enough nanites to buy this. And then we're going to need um, the resources to do it. I got to eat these crackers. It's 420 on a Sunday and I haven't eaten a thing all day. We'll go the back way. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to you right now. You need to go to the mall. Uh, excuse me? What about somebody's pet? Uh, we want to come over here. And we're going to unlock this for 250. We have 840. We can afford it. There we go. I think that's all we needed. Now oh, we're going to need cadmium for that. That's fine. Now, we should be able to come in here after we have ionized cobalt and make that. For now, let's put in... Guess what I need to make that? <laughs> um... Oh, we need more slots. Let's add this so we can pick up some extra resources. Really want this grade two. We need ionized cobalt, three quantum computers. All right. Uh, let's unlock this. And let's unlock this so we can make our own quantum computers. Now we're down to nanny night, nanny nine nights. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go build all this stuff out offline and probably take a break. What is this thing? It must be his pet or her pet. It's bouncing around. I'm going to go back and get some nanites. So if we go to our bases, let's go to balls one. <clears throat> We're going to go here, pick up some more nanites. Just for fun. Hi, Mr. Plant. Um, really? Okay, that was fun. Uh, we got another 1400. Let's add condensed carbon X to add the rest of it. Start. Okay. There's that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a break. And I'm going to... Maximize all my slots because I'm tired of dealing with this. So I think I'm going to max everything out. Um, I think, well, I need to go a uh, harvesting. Okay. We need quantum computers, magnetic resonators and ionized cobalt. Quantum computers. I can make those. I need ionized cobalt. So in order to make ionized cobalt, I need a two slot. Well, I could buy in one of these places had it to buy <laughs> space station current system. It's fine. One of these places had it to buy. There it is. Ionize cobalt. So there we go. Now I can do, uh, I need a quantum computer. Can I buy those too while I'm just standing here? Of course not. All right. Quantum computers. I'm out of materials for that. This is going to be personal refiner mark two. Let's just put it in there so we can build it out. I need quantum computers. And for that, I need antimatter. Can I make one? I need a microprocessor. 
I think that's it. Yep. All three of those. Okay, now we have the Mark II personal refiner. So you come into it and give it some energy. And we can make ionized cobalt now. <clears throat> by giving it some oxygen, cut it in half. Uh, and if you have cobalt, you can put cobalt right in there, but because we have ionized, we can, we can make a ton more of ionized cobalt because the oxygen will magnify the ionized cobalt. So this is for every one IO ionized cobalt, we're going to get six out. So this 179 is going to get us a thousand but it's going to use a ton of oxygen. And this is where I tell you that you need oxygen in mass in this game. So much. I don't want to do that right now, but I wanted to have that. Uh, let's put it up here. Uh, and then for our multi-tool, we need two wiring looms. So go ahead and add those in. Oh, we already fed it that. Awesome. Three magnetic resonators. Let's go back into my inventory. And I can make one, two, three. No, because I'm missing nine magnetized ferrite. <clears throat> okay. So it goes ferrite dust, you refine that to pure ferrite, and you refine pure ferrite into magnetized ferrite. Uh, I'm going to take all of this and just drop it in to the refiner, and it's just going to start making it. Because I can take ferrite and make more pure ferrite. So it's not a big deal. And I can take this now and make one more. So now my multi-tool, my survey device is complete. Now there's a reason why I'm doing this. Survey device. Which we will get into the next video. We got our survey device. Just going to help us find some additional resources. We can't move it. Uh, we have our starship all loaded up. Exosuit. We, we still need some slots. And again, you, you can increase that slot count by going and finding, well, two ways. New starship stations. Um, you can just buy them straight out. Or you can find the drop pods with the exosuit maps. Right? So those two main ways that I go about doing that. So I'm going to do some of that and come back.